And finally, the rand showed resilience today, maintaining its strongest position since August as investors awaited President Cyril Ramaphosa's cabinet lineup. In early morning trading, the rand had gained 0.47% against the dollar, reaching 17 rand and 80 cents. Market observers are especially interested in how the government of national unity will manage potential conflicts and policy divergence, notably between the ANC and the DA. Meanwhile, global investors are closely monitoring new data to gauge further future inflation trends and Federal Reserve interest rate decisions. Portfolio manager Gabriel Tsulem provides a comprehensive overview of the week's market activities. Good afternoon. Uh, your market update. It's been a very positive week on, on the markets. We've seen the RAND strengthen below that key 18 level, currently sitting at 1791. This on the back of positive developments out of the government of national unity. Certainly, these developments seem to have spurred the market on and have uh, benefited the RAND at this particular point. We've also seen good uh, numbers for the week uh, coming out of the banking sector in particular, where most of the big five are certainly above 5% up for the week, um, some as high as 8% at this point. We've also seen good results out of mining. The broad mining index up over 4% at this particular point, and that applies to the broader uh, mining companies listed on the JSE. Um, the JSE itself is testing that 80,000 points mark, signaling that, broadly speaking, the indexes, the, the companies that make up the index are quite positive about the developments uh, regarding the government of national unity. And it's, us, it's time for, for the markets to see what, in particular, the cabinet appointments hold in store uh, leading into the new week. 